holes in there, up on the top. You see where there's a line of holes in the tree? Can everyone see right down there? That's a sapsucker. That's the bird. It's a northern member of the woodpecker family. And they go in there and they get in there and they feed on the sap. And they put those holes and sometimes they come back and they double dip because there's moths or something on the sap and then they feed on the moths to come on. But when I'm in the Adirondacks, I'll say this before dawn starts, I look for basswood because that's where you're going to find the wildflowers. Basswood likes very rich soil with a lot of calcium in it. You know, and a lot of this area here, we don't have calcium. Here, the Adirondacks even more so, you know, because of the native bedrock, the acid, acidness, and also because of acid precipitation, which leaches out the calcium. So when you find basswood, primarily ash also, that's where you're going to find these gorgeous spring flowers that are going to come out probably in another week here, like Dutchman's breeches and uh, bloodroot and uh, white trillium and the rest of them. You know, so it's, it's something that always looks and is always, to me, it's something even more. Now, basswood here isn't as rare as it is in the Adirondack Park as you go higher elevation. You know, you get it. But that would indicate the soil's fairly sweet here, and I'm sure it indicates a lot of other things that Don is now going to tell you. I was okay. just going to tell you a few other things about basswood that are interesting. Um, it's got this heart-shaped leaf. This isn't a very good example, but it's kind of heart-shaped, the leaf. Um, it's got long lines up and down, vertical lines. You can sort of recognize the bark. Uh, carvers use it a lot for decoys. Uh, it's very soft wood, um, but it's not the same as what they call balsa wood. Basswood is a different species. Um, it's also called, in Europe, it's called... Um, it's, uh, it's linden, tilia. isn't it? Linden? Linden, yeah. yeah. Linden, it's uh, tilia, tiliacea. Uh, the flowers are good for um, uh, indigestion, uh, for day of a tea. They use a lot of... Sometimes you'll find in herb, herb, stops, herb shops and stuff, you can get... Uh, Herb, herb teas that come from Tilia. And um, the Indians used to use the inner bark for making rope. They actually made rope out of the inner bark of the tree. It's a really nice tree. 